Hey guys, Steph here, founder of Nourish, and today's video is all about the heart chakra. Today's color is green! My favorite. I love the color green. So to open up the heart chakra, what we're going to be doing is some yoga poses. This is part of our series, Seven Day Sugar and chakra detox you can join in we start on sundays for sunday setup and then we go throughout the week um hitting on each chakra so there's seven chakras seven days and we really address sugar cravings so sugar cravings in my opinion can be because of three main reasons one deficiencies two habituals so if you're in the habit of going out for that afternoon coffee and muffin potato chips before bed. Number three, um, stress-induced or cortisol-driven. That's why I'm so passionate about restorative yoga and teaching how to get into the rest and digest state. I am that crazy person that goes away and I meditate for 10 days and people ask me, why do you do that, Steph? You're, you're already calm. What is that? Um, what's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. It's like going a uh, tennis player going away to tennis camp. It's just focusing in and our healing time is actually when we're resting and sleeping and sometimes we don't actually get that restful sleep. So it's really important to do this throughout the day as well just to calm the nervous system down and if you have been exercising and you're eating healthy but you still have a little bit of belly fat, it could be cortisol or stress induced. You know, if you're about to do a presentation or a race, you get upset in your stomach. That's because you're in that adrenaline state. So if you can imagine not meaning to, we get into the cortisol state throughout the day. It's just what we do. Society tells us to be busy, to go, go, go. So that's what we're doing here in this seven day process. It's a program that I sell at Nourish and it's $129, $129 for the full seven days. And you get your supplements to correct any deficiencies, your probiotic to reset the gut, you get shakes, um, you can opt in or out of the shakes depending on what kind of habits you're already in. We chat and make sure that um, I set you up with where you're at because some people come into this totally new to detoxing, some people come in already juicing, already eating smoothies, so we just have a chat and decide if you need the shakes or not. Um, the shakes are useful if you're super busy, if you're traveling, if you don't have time to prep food, if you can't be bothered, if eating, um, you want to eat healthy but it's just not a priority to be food prepping and all of that, then definitely get the shake option. And then habitual. So what we're doing is we're adding these shakes in, we're adding these probiotics in, we're adding these supplements in, we're adding this yoga routine in on the, the throughout the day when you're actually going to have those cravings. Because you can think back to we're habitual creatures and usually it's um, certain times of the day, you know, you do really well and then it's that afternoon snack because you didn't eat enough during the or that afternoon cookie, I should say, because you didn't eat enough during the day, or you come home and you raid your pantries because you're starving, um, or it's after dinner, we're eating those treats, um, watching TV, potato chips, that sort of thing. So the second is habitual. We really work on resetting your habits within the five, um, five main days. And then the third is, of course, cortisol-driven or stress-induced cravings. So that's what we're doing with our Rest and Digest, our five minutes of restorative yoga every day. If you missed the um, other chakras, we're working our way up. The roots, the root, um, the sacral, the solar plexus, we're onto the heart. And then, believe it or not, we have three more to go. The throat um, here and then the crown. So um, if you've ever seen an image of... The full chakras it's beautiful colors and all that we're doing is we're really just using yoga poses every day to open these up because balanced chakras it doesn't mean in balance it just means your chakras are open open your energy is flowing you're feeling good you're vibing good um, so that's all that we're doing with these yoga poses so in your email the three yoga poses that to open up the heart chakra that we have for you are camel pose cobra pose and fish pose now um, Fish pose and camel pose are kind of advanced, so we're not going to be doing those in the video just because um, I want you guys to be fully supported. We're going to be doing a restorative um, cobra pose. You don't need any props. Um, if you are into yoga and you have all your props, definitely do a supported fish or a supported heart opener for, for today. It's really relaxing before bed. If you're doing this at the beginning part of the day, um, you can do a more energizing flow, um, staying in ca uh, camel pose for a little bit longer. You definitely don't want to just jump into those poses if you are not warmed up. If you're at your desk, you can simply just take, close your eyes, take 
deep, deep breaths and open up your arms, leaning back. So the one thing we do want to be careful of with heart openers is not to um, compress and shorten our traps. I'm so guilty of this. Um, it really takes an effort not to do that. So whatever heart openers you do, you really want to make sure you're staying long in the neck. The last thing you want to do is tighten up those traps and get headaches. Totally guilty of that. Um, so I'll start our timer. We're doing five minutes of restorative yoga. We're doing um, for our posture here together. We're going to do um, a really gentle cobra. So it might not seem like you're doing much, but we really are. We're opening the chest. And then at the very end for the last minute, there's the option to go into seal pose, which just deepens it. Any back bends, you really, um, the last place you want to feel it is in your low back. So if you feel it in your low back, back off and, um, all back bends were actually lengthening up and opening the heart instead of crushing through the back. So if you are going to do camel pose, definitely start, warm yourself up, but um, hands go in the back pockets and instead of leaning back and pushing forward, you're actually going up. So your camel pose might not, you might not end up touching your feet. Um, this is actually, you have to be super open in the hips and the shoulders as well. Um, so what you're doing is hands in the pockets, you're actually just pushing your hips forward, length, lengthening through your um, quads. You don't want to be crushing in the back, so you're actually going up and back, opening through the chest. So that could be your camel pose. If you're going into the full expression, make sure that when you go back, you're pushing forward again, opening up through the chest. You're not crunching into the back or the shoulders, keeping long through the neck, and long through the low back. Fish pose is definitely an advanced pose and I only do it supported, but if you're into this, it's you can Google it. Basically, you're just, um, your heart goes towards the sky and your head leans back. It's very intense on the throat um, as well, easy to compress the neck. So don't do this um, if you don't know what you're doing. As well, you can simply use blocks and bolters, bolsters to support. So fish poses them, this one here, where your legs are out and your arms are, um, they're under you, your chest is going up, and then head slings back and touches the ground, which I'm not going to do. Um, love that one supported if you have one or two blocks. Um, okay, so those are the poses in your email. Um, if you're doing this before bed, get nice and cozy because... Um, you definitely, when you get into the rest and digest state, you cool down. Um, so get a blanket. And what we're going to do is just a restorative style cobra pose. It's going to seem like you're doing nothing, but you actually are. You're really opening up the chest. And the last minute we're going to, I'll give you the option to push up into seal to just give it a little bit more of an expression. You don't have to worry about a timer. I have a five minute meditation timer that'll put on here for us. All right, so to prepare, lying on your belly, um, hands just out front. So your, your elbows are gonna be under your shoulders. It's gonna feel like you're doing nothing. But when we stay in this pose and really focus on the breath, you actually are opening up the chest. And I'll let you know when we have 60 seconds to go, we'll express into seal, which is more of a bend. Um, again, stay long in that back. You don't want to be crushing through your uh, low back if you are back out of it. Um, if you have a pillow or something, you can support your head. If you don't, no worries. And really, guys, it feels like you're doing nothing, but it is opening up the chest. Staying long through the traps.
halfway through our five minutes. Make sure um, your traps are long, but you're able to relax. So restorative is about not holding yourself up, but instead being supported by the earth, by the foundations of your bones. Um, and of course, make sure you're breathing, focusing on the breath in and out of the nose. And if you can, focusing on breathing in and out of that chakra, that heart region, the chest, bringing energy and awareness for another five deep breaths. So for the last 60 seconds, we'll move into seal pose. If you feel um, great, stay where you are. If you want to express a little bit more and open up through the chest, take your hands forward about two to three inches and pressing firmly into your hands, you're going to lift your heart through and up. So again, we're staying long in the back, long at the traps and the neck and feeling that stretch through the front of the body, opening up the heart. And we're only here for 30 more seconds. Breathing, if your breath has stopped, go back down to this variation. As soon as your breathing stops, you kick yourself out of the rest and digest, which is the whole point of this. So go to a place where you still can breathe confidently in and out of your nose, focusing on that heart chakra, the chest opening and broadening. more seconds, one big breath. Coming down to your chest, relaxing your arms to the earth and taking your feet up, bending your knees and windshield back and forth to release the low back. All right, guys. That was five minutes. Good job. I know um, five minutes can seem super daunting. So if you, if it is, just do 60 seconds of breath work, opening up the arms, even if you're just sitting at your, on your couch, on your desk, keeping the traps long, not crunching in the back, and you're doing your job. Um, if you're doing that before bed, you can continue on and just listen to the music and it will, it's a great um, bridge into your sleep, which will actually help you with all of this as well. Because if we don't get a proper sleep, we don't release our uh, hunger, hunger hormones properly and we have more cravings. So double whammy there. If your cravings are due to hormonal or sleep problems, you do this restorative right before bed have a nice calming tea, um, and you'll be good to go. And you're actually going to be working um, on this throughout the night. So what I mean by that is you'll be in the proper state. You'll be in this restful state instead of go, go, go. Because if you have ever woken up not feeling restful, you probably didn't get into that rest and digest state, the healing state, which we are supposed to get into when we go to sleep. Um, all right, guys, thanks for joining. Tomorrow, we're going to move up to the throat chakra. Um, and if you missed our other ones, it's all under the video tab on, my, um, on Facebook as well as on my YouTube channel. Um, if you can't find anything, let me know. And if you want to join us for next week, if you want to grab all the goodies, the probiotics, the supplements, the shakes, and the full email series, um, 
for our chakra and sugar detox, message me. We do a Sunday setup, and then we do Monday to Friday, the food portion, and then Saturday, Sunday, more yoga, just closing it off and creating a maintenance plan for you to move forward and really bust those sugar cravings and kick them to the curb once and for all, because ain't nobody got time for that. Let me know in the comments if you are wearing green today. Another chance to just become aware every time you see green today, just focus on the breath or a little bit of energy here on your heart. Um, and today, this chakra is all about love, all about unconditional love. Um, I don't think I gave you our affirmations for the day. Um, these are in your email as well, but you're there. I open my heart to the world around me. I am loved. I choose love and kindness. I open my heart and my body to love. All about the love and it's Valentine's Day coming up. So definitely appropriate. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you are playing along, if you are enjoying this, or if you think we're crazy. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.